Okay, I know you read the title, and trust me, I am just as surprised as you are. You know how much I love the bookstore and the library and just a tangible book, and yet here we are somehow. So let me just explain. <laughs> Before you start asking questions, let me explain what happened. All right, so what had happened was, <laughs> once we filled out my entire bookshelf, I was looking for more bookshelves because right now all my extra books are on the windowsill and it's just completely blocking the view and I don't really like it. So I've been looking for bookshelves and while I was looking for more space for my books, I kept seeing e-readers everywhere and I was like, wait a second, what if, what if I just got one? <laughs> I've never had an e-reader my entire life. I've always been a tangible book girly. I like a book. I like turning the pages. I like highlighting things. I like dog earing things. I like to have my own book. But I just kept seeing everyone have so much fun with an e-reader. So I'm like, you know what? The FOMO is kicking in. Let me just get one. So yeah, I ordered a Kindle. This is the Agave Green 16 gigabyte 11th generation Kindle Paperwhite that three times fast <laughs> this is the one that all the book girlies are talking about now there are three different colors it's the agave green which is the one that I got the classic black and then there's a denim blue one I got the green because that's one of my favorite colors so hopefully it looks as good as it did online I picked the Kindle specifically because out of all the e-readers that I kept doing research on this is the one that everyone just kept talking about apparently it has really great reviews it's really user-friendly and there's like different adjustments you can make on it and apparently it connects to your Goodreads so I'm very excited I've never had an e-reader so I don't know what to do at all and I want to unbox it with you but when we unbox I also want to decorate because a lot of the people were decorating it and I want to decorate mine too <laughs> so let's go it got a little bit dinged up in the mail but hopefully that doesn't mean it's broken <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of excited even though I'm like a book girly I think this is gonna be really nice look at this it's so tiny I did not expect that now I'm excited How cute! I really like this color. It's like a muted green, like a matcha green. Very, very cute. Let's see what else is in the box. Candle paper white. That's what books are for, to travel without moving an inch. Facts. I didn't feel like the chargerless Kindle was worth it because this is the same charger that you use with your iPhone and your MacBook and everything else if those are the items that you have. So I didn't feel like it was necessary. So I got this and bought the cheaper one. All right, the only thing that comes in here is the charger cable, which is fine. Let's turn it on. She's doing something. Oh, there's a tree. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cute. I'm glad I have a problem. All right, it is officially on. The screen looks so weird. It's like digital, but not. It still kind of looks like a book, so it's throwing me off, but it's very cool. All right, let me pick my language, English. United States of America. Okay, setting up. Now I can tell you right off the bat, it's very responsive. I like the touch screen. And it's a lot more like crisp than I thought it would be. She's a little slow to boot though. She's taking a little minute. Kalila, insert elevator music. That took me a second, but I finally got in. I have like three different emails, so I had to figure out which one I use for reading. But I logged in, and now it's asking me, do I want it to be kid-friendly? It doesn't have to be, so I'll say no thanks. All right, we are logged in now, but now it's asking me, do I want to join Kindle Unlimited? Now, this is the thing that I wasn't sure about, because a lot of people said that the books that you get on there are usually books that people don't read anyway. So... What do we do? Let me know in the comments down below if you have a Kindle and if you have Kindle Unlimited or if you don't and why, because I'm not sure. I'm gonna say no thanks now, but if it's worth it, let me know in the comments and then I'll get it. Introducing the Kindle experience. This tour will help you learn how to navigate your Kindle's features. Thank you. So here's my home and my library. I usually use my brother's Amazon because he has Amazon Prime and I don't. So I have none of my books that I have been reading on Kindle here, but that's okay. I want to find a book now and we'll try to read it for the next few days and see if I actually like this thing. So far, I got to say it's pretty nice. I really like that it has this brightness setting. Like this is the brightness at its highest setting. 
that's pretty bright. Another reason why I really wanted this is because I'm always reading in the summer and usually in the summer I'm by the pool or at the beach and I always get my books wet or there's a ton of sand and I hate ruining books. So I'm hoping that this fixes it. And with this brightness setting, it just might. That's crazy. It also has a warmth setting. So this is the warmth completely off and this is the warmth now. That's a big difference. I really like that feature a lot. I think this is gonna help with reading at night too because usually I have like this little flashlight that I put over my book so that I can read at night because I don't like taking my phone to bed. And this just might fix all my problems. Are we an e-reader girly now? <laughs> I don't know, it's looking like it. All right, we're gonna find a book that we can read but before we do that, I really wanna decorate. So let me show you all the goodies I got. All the book girlies that I've been seeing have pop sockets. So we got a pop socket. This one has a ton of cute little smiley faces. And I also got stickers for the case. Now these stickers, it was like a pack of 100. Oh my God, this is 300, I did not know that. I got a pack of these for like fillers because I did order some other stickers, but they haven't gotten to me yet. So we're just gonna wait on that. Those stickers that I ordered are more personalized to me. They're all about like um, The Office, which is my favorite show. I got some like reading book girly stickers and stuff like that and like cute things that I like. So I'm very excited, I can't wait till those come in. When I come back to do the review on the Kindle, you'll see all my new stickers, so I'm excited about that. But for now, we can use these. I will link everything in my Amazon storefront in the description below. So if you want these, you can have them too. Whoa, whoa. We're gonna spread them out. <laughs> Sun's out, bun's out. All these cute little quirky sayings. Oh, we finally found a book one. I don't really like what it says though. You are a queen, cause I know, you know. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. This is kind of nuts. Let me show you. This is what 300 stickers from Amazon looks like. It's kind of nuts. So the game plan is to just move the stickers around my Kindle and not actually stick them because I want to be able to change it with my mood. Plus we have those other stickers coming soon and I don't want to be stuck with one situation. All right, it feels good, it feels good. Step one complete. I kind of want a pink theme against the green. I think that'd be very cute, but we don't got a lot to work with. I mean, we have a lot to work with, but not with the theme in mind that I have and something that's not super cheesy because a lot of these say like, oh my God, it's a new day, lake life, my Birkins. You know, like it's not what I actually believe, so I can't use a lot of them, but there are some cute ones. I think I just have to look. It's like stimulation overload. There's so much going on, let's see. Kind people are my kind of people. Yeah? Do you like that one? I like it too. Good job. One down, a billion to go. Focus on the good. Ooh, she's right, she's right. We got something. It's kind of haphazard, but it's kind of cute too. This is the final product as of right now. Again, I'm gonna get some other stickers, so it's gonna change, but as of right now, this is what she's looking like. She's kind of cute. All right, let me clean up all these stickers. So I'm still very much into my romance phase. So the book that I wanna pick right now is a romance. I don't know what kind yet, but I do want a romance. Here are three options. This is what yours truly says by Abby Jimenez. Dr. Brianna Ortiz's life is seriously flatlining. Her divorce is just about finalized. Her brother's running out of time to find a kidney donor and that promotion she wants Oh, that's probably going to the new man doctor who's already registering 80 freaking seven on Brianna's, <laughs> on Brianna's pain in the ass scale. But just when all systems are set to hate, Dr. Jacob Maddox completely flips the game by sending Brianna a letter. And it's a really good letter, like the kind that proves that Jacob isn't actually Satan. Worse, he might be this fantastically funny and subversively likable guy who's terrible at first impressions. Because suddenly he and Brianna are exchanging letters, sharing lunch dates in her sob closet, and discussing the merits of freakishly tiny horses. Okay. But when Jacob decides to give Brianna the best gift imaginable, a kidney for her brother, she wonders just how she can resist this quietly sexy new doctor, especially when he calls in a favor she can't refuse. That sounds good. That's option one. And then this is Happy Place by Emily Henry. 
Harriet and Wen have been the perfect couple since they met in college. They got together like salt and pepper, honey and tea, lobster and rolls. Except now for reasons they're still not discussing, they don't. They broke up five months ago and still haven't told their best friends. Hmm. Which is how they find themselves sharing a bedroom at the main cottage that has been their friends group dearly getaway for the last decade. Their annual respite from the world where for one blissful week they leave behind their daily lives have copious amounts of cheese, wine, and seafood, and soak up the salty coastal air with the people who understand them the most. Only this year, Harriet and Wynne are lying through their teeth while trying not to notice how desperately they want each other. Because the cottage is for sale, and this is the last week they'll all be together at this place, they can't stand to break their friends' hearts, so they'll play their parts. Harriet will be the driven surgical resident who never starts a fight, and Wynne will be the laid-back charmer who never lets the cracks show. It's a flawless plan if you look at it from a great distance and through and through a pair of sunscreen spared sunglasses. After years of being in love, how hard can it be to fake it for one week in front of those who know you the best? Hmm. So they're both like doctory, summery vibes. All right, we'll try Icebreaker. Icebreaker is by Hannah Grace. It says Anastasia Allen has worked her entire life for a shot at Team USA. It looks like everything is going according to plan when she gets to a full scholarship to the University of California, Maple Hills, and lands a place on their competitive figure skating team. Nothing will stand in her way, not even the captain of the hockey team, Nate Hawkins. I don't know. They all sound interessante. Y'all wanna do yours truly? That's what I'm kind of leaning towards. I think we're gonna get it. It's 10.99 here. So we'll buy it. I can tell you now, the one thing I don't like is when you have to type in your information, it doesn't automatically correct or sync with your other accounts because it should remember it and it doesn't. So that's really annoying. But we're just gonna leave that like that and I'm just gonna continue to read and I'll come back in a few days and let you know how I feel about it. One week later. Welcome back. It has been it has been a few days with me using the Kindle and I gotta say, I hate how much I like it. I wrote down some notes. Guys, we made a phenomenal choice. Phenomenal choice, okay? This is Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. Guys, the story is so cute and I did not expect to like it as much as I do because usually in romances, they have humor and they try to be funny, right? But sometimes it comes off as like cringy or even cheesy, but her humor in this is so good. Like I'm audibly laughing while I'm reading it and that rarely happens. So I really like the humor and I just love the two main characters. So the girl, her name is Brianna and the guy, his name is Jacob. They're both doctors at this hospital and he's very introverted and kind of antisocial, but he's like a really cool person when you get to know him. And Brianna is just like outgoing, bubbly. She has like a great personality and everyone loves her. And at first they didn't get off on the right foot, but then they started passing letters to each other back and forth and ugh. It is so cute. It is so cute. I love it. So we picked a great book. And I don't know if it's because we picked a great book or because it's the Kindle. But guys, I have been zipping, zipping through this book. <laughs> I had too much coffee today. I'm sorry. And usually it takes me about a week to read a book because I work full time. I'm studying Japanese. I have to be present with my family. So I don't really have time to just you know, read a book all day, every day. So it usually takes me about a week. But with this book, I'm almost halfway through it. And it's only been like two days. And while I was reading this, I was also reading 1984 by George Orwell. And this book I really love so far too. But I have barely touched this. And I've just been reading this like nonstop. Every time I have a study break or I have a break at work, I'll just pick up my Kindle instead of reading my book. And that never happens. I'm different now, guys. I'm different. I'm with the times. I'm with the book girlies. <laughs> I really, really like it. Also, side note and update, my stickers have not come yet for the updated ones, the ones that I really like. But you know what? I've kind of grown accustomed to this. I don't mind it as much. And before I thought I put my pop socket in the wrong spot, and maybe it is still kind of in the wrong spot, but I've gotten used to it. Now I don't mind it. And like I read it at the gym too. I really, really like this thing. But I wrote down specifically what I like. And there are also some cons too. First off, you can highlight things. But not only can you highlight things, but you can also send it straight to your Goodreads. So I can like highlight this. Okay, now she's acting brand new. Wait a second. Okay, I can highlight this, right? Highlight it, take a note, or share it to Goodreads. I love that. 
It is so convenient. Usually I'll have to put a book down and then like try to type what I'm trying to read and the quote that I like into Goodreads, but now it's just immediate. I love that. That is very cool. Also, I noticed if there's ever a word you don't know, not only can you look it up and it gives you a definition, but it also allows you to translate it if you want it to. So if I wanted to translate a word from English to Japanese, well, baby, now I can. You love to see it. I think what I also like the most though, like the absolute most, I did not expect to need this in my life, but I really like how if you touch the top, it tells you how many minutes you have left in the chapter and what percentage of the book you read. I am a gold star kind of girl. I need my props and I need to know how much I've done and I need you to tell me how much I've done. And this does that for me. It's like, come on baby girl, you only got 10 more minutes in this chapter, keep reading. And I'm like, shucks. I can read for 10 more minutes. I love that. It's so cool. My book does not do that. I still love you though. Another thing you can do is connect to Bluetooth and have your audiobooks. And as you know, one of my favorite audiobooks is Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. And now I can listen to it with my Kindle instead of connecting to my phone or connecting to something else. That is very cool. I really like that. I was reading at night for the past few nights. And guys, not having to use my little handy dandy flashlight for my physical book and just having this already and I can adjust the warmness and the brightness has been a godsend. It's so nice. I was never an electronic girly for books, but it's doing something to me. I'm converted. I really like it a lot. And it's so small, easy to carry with you. It's not that much of a hassle. I really, really like it. And I hate that. But now I gotta tell you the cons because there are a few. First things first, it's more about my willpower than anything. I realized because of how much I'm enjoying this book, now I want the physical copy. And I just spent $10.99 on it for the Kindle. And now I want the physical copy. So I feel like now when I like books on here, I'm just gonna wanna buy it for the actual physical copy. And then I'm gonna have two copies of the book and spending more money than I need to. So that kind of bit me in the butt because this was for saving money. And now I feel like I'm gonna buy it here and for my bookshelf. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that information. We're just gonna cross that bridge when we get to it. Then the only other thing that I kind of don't like, but I'm kind of getting used to also, is when you find a quote, sometimes you're reading the book, right? It will tell you how many people have highlighted like a popular part of the book. And I don't know, I don't like that very much because it makes me feel like I have to highlight it. And then if I don't highlight it, I'm like, well, would I have highlighted it if it didn't tell me that other people highlighted it? Maybe it's, maybe it's me, maybe I'm crazy. But I don't know, I don't, that kind of, I don't like that. But besides those two things, there's not much to hate here. I'm kind of in love. Yeah, I, we'll, we'll call it love. Also, when I update my stickers, I will insert a little clip here. Let's just say it's right here. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Ooh, nice, kill him, ooh, kill him, ooh, kill him. Yeah, and that's everything. I guess the verdict is in. I am officially an ebook girly now. Now, of course, before you freak out, we are still going to the bookstore. I will still continue to buy physical books, but now I have somewhere else to spend my money. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, 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 I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> it was not supposed to go like that. I was supposed to save more money with this, but it's kind of looking a little different. Anyway, I love this thing very much. If I had to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, I'd give it two thumbs up and some pee pews. And I would recommend you getting one too. That's all for me. I love you guys so much, and I hope to see you in the next video.